Today we are hitting a lot of secrets. Let's go. Somewhere beyond our dimension, the Punisher tells Doctor Strange to shut up and is preparing to shoot him. They're investigating mass murders, and it's a big deal for Punisher because that's his job and somebody's doing it better than him. And Steven gets hit when he's been lied to. Strange realized that the attacker had been committing this behavior for some time, and that someone had just sent him and Punisher to follow the attackers and they were not told the whole truth. The blue zone of the moon, we see Barky with the Watcher's eye and Nick Fury's cut head, the soldier is not far away and he's going. The warning that Nick Fury was killed came to the Black Panther, the Ant-Man, and Emma Frost as they returned after finding countless underground creatures destroyed by gamma-ray bullets. Scott says it could be Dr. Midas's work. Emma says that rich people are capable of absolutely anything. They're approaching the surface, believing that it can't be true, T'Challa has changed the direction of their shuttle. He doesn't know anything like Emma and Scott, and that's what matters to him. But there's another alarm, and it says Nick Fury is dead. The Tower of the Avengers, Wolverine, and Hulk find the dead Fury, the Wolverine immediately realizes that it was Barky. Doctor Strange and Punisher arrived at the tower, and Wolverine says it's not what they could have thought. Steven uses his magic on the Wolverine, and Punisher tries to break through Hulk, but it doesn't hurt him. But then the Punisher activates the ammunition and throws the Hulk out of the tower. The Punisher warns Strange that the second time this trick with Hulk will not work, and tells him to hurry. The Punisher wants to take Fury's body, but Steven doesn't see the need, but there's someone else here who deserves attention, Orb. Strange tells Orb that he's coming with them. Orb sees that someone sent them, but Strange says it's not true and they came for the truth. Orb warns them that they don't even know who they work for, and that they haven't seen what's hidden. Castle tells him to hurry, but he says he sees the eye, and he can lead them to him. The only problem is that he'll show the truth, and some things are better never to see. The signal leads the Black Panther command to the hidden satellite. Emma tells everybody that they're not alone on this satellite. Behind their back stands the Punisher and holds a target on them, telling no one to do unthinkable actions. Strange appears and asks them on whose side they are. Challa says they're on the right side and that she exists. They were all brought here by a lie, but not by Steven. They were brought by Orb. While everyone is discussing Orb's mind, he feels the eye more and more at this time. Here's Barky. Castle and Barky start arguing, but Steven says it's useless. Barky says he's here because of Fury's head. Another ship came in contact with them. The orb is pulling everything to the eye. It's where Gamora breaks in and she's ready to kill Barky. Here the Moon Knight appears saying that they were rescued by the rocket raccoon from deep space. Barky in a fight tells Gamora that he is not her enemy. Frost beats Gamora and tells her that she has to figure it out first, and Spectre now trusts Gamora more than Chala. Barky tells Hamor to cool it down. Hamora pierces Fury's head and it turns out to be a robot. It all started with Fury, but they didn't tell the truth, and now they're a secret. Strange says they worked for Fury. There's a real Nick Fury coming out of the room with his twins and saying they're still working on him, 